first on that. I got you. But uh, you you ready? You rolling? All right. So this is George Apostolopoulos. I'm uh, doing a Trinidad seven pot Dougla, and it's a tiny pod. My tolerance is a little wimpy. I've had a sore throat for a week, no heat. So I'm pretty sure this is gonna burn me up. So for all you on uh, Pepperland there, start to enjoy. Uh, enjoy watching me. This is, uh... <laughs> all right, here we go. You got a initial sweetness, a hint of bitter, little floral undertone, and um, a little bit of a little bit of acid type flavor. There it is. You can smell it, can't you? Is it undertone? It's already making me burp. It is hot. If you gonna do your business. I'm gonna sip some tea and talk about it. <laughs> Just don't get it right there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, right now the heat is under my tongue, sides of my tongue. Um Mainly that's where it's concentrated. I can feel it inside of my gums. Really hadn't grabbed the back of the throat yet, even though I can feel it coming. It's intensifying now, blowing up on my tongue. It's almost making my tongue feel swollen. Dougal is a hot, hot pepper. Some people say it's hotter than a maruga. All right, throat starting to really it in, you can tell I'm burping. Um, yeah. The back of my throat feels like if you took a blowtorch and just lit it, and it's fire just going down. <clears throat> the tongue is still going. It's mainly tongue, back of the throat. The, my lips feel numb. I never felt heat on my lips, they're just numb. It's a hot one. <coughs> no tears. Um, yeah, I got some tearage. Try not to touch my face. Uh, that doesn't do nothing but make it hotter. It's tea. Um, this pepper. Was grown with uh, Urban Farms Texas Veggie Fertilizer. It's an organic fertilizer, and my plants have just been jacked up. You can ask Scott. Yeah, they're hot. They're hot. I've had to back off the nutrients because uh, even seasoned people. Compared to the Carolina Reaper or the Seven Pot Primo, scale of one to ten, what do you give it? I'm giving this. Higher than a Primo, and um, a little bit higher than a Reaper. If I had to rate them, I would say Primo, Reaper, Dougla, in heat levels. Uh, and um, I would say that this is a better tasting pepper than uh, a Butch Tea or the Jonas I've had so far this year. You can really see the tears rolling. You can see it. But um, the heat is not going to get any hotter. It's about peaked. But it's still very intense. It's got a little bit of that oven type burn like the, like the bubble gum. But it's really got a lot of sting in there. Almost like a reaper. Um, reaper type burn. On a scale of 1 to 10, what is it? 
On a one to ten. Overall pepper, the plant, the pepper, taste, heat, looks, everything. One to ten. Seven. Strong seven. It's a good pepper. Uh, the plants are real easy to grow. They get bigger than most seven pods. They get very tall. It's right there. My reaper and that dougla, same height. Higher than a seven pot orange or a yellow. They're real big plants. Real productive. A little bit thinner flesh than an orange or a yellow seven. Or at least the strain I got a hold of. And um, these are hotter than the peppers because I ate the peppers that the seeds come out of. These are a whole lot hotter this year. So, but um, it's the heat's starting to calm down now, and um, that's about it. I, you know, I try to give you as much information as I can about the Dougla. It's one of the world's hottest peppers. It tested a high of 1.8 million, and um, I think it averaged 1.3, the low. But um, um, or the medium and the low was probably a little over me. But anyways, I'm wrapping it up. 2014, Scott Phillips' house, uh, Pepper Garden of 2014, Love, Tomatoes, six foot tall plants. Signing off. Have a good one. I know what